In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to bait stamp using Adobe Acrobat DC. If you're unfamiliar with the term, bait stamping is a process often used in the legal field to sequentially number documents, ensuring every page is accounted for. With Adobe Acrobat DC, this process is streamlined and efficient. Let's dive right into it. To begin, you need to open your PDF file in Adobe Acrobat. This is your starting point, so make sure you have the document ready that you want to add the bait numbers to. Once your document is open, look towards the upper part of your screen and click on the All Tools tab in the global toolbar. You're going to want to select the Scan and OCR option from the menu that appears. This option offers you the tools necessary for text recognition and manipulation, which will be essential for Bates numbering. The next step is to find Bates numbering and click on Add. A dialog box will pop up on your screen. This is where you can arrange your files if you need to, so make any necessary adjustments here. Once you're satisfied with the order, proceed by clicking OK. Now it's time to personalize how your Bates numbers appear. Under the font section, you'll have the option to select your preferred font style, size, and even color. This customization helps ensure that your Bates numbers are easily visible and meet any specific stylistic requirements you may have. Following font selection, decide where you'd like the serial number to appear on your document. Adobe Acrobat gives you flexibility here, allowing you to place the numbering in the left center or right header, and also in the left center or right footer, depending on your preference or the format requirements of your project. Now click on Insert Bates Number. This action integrates the numeric sequence into your document. You'll then be prompted to set the number of digits for your sequence. Whether it's three, four, or more digits, select what makes the most sense for your particular numbering needs. Next, you'll choose the starting number for your sequence. This allows you to pick up from an ongoing project or start fresh, depending on what your document sequence requires. Enter the number where you'd like to start, and then click OK to confirm. Before finalizing, click on the page range options. You'll typically want to select all pages to ensure every page of your document is numbered consistently. Once that's selected, click OK. Finally, click on OK. Once more to close the dialog box and begin the bait stamping process. Adobe Acrobat will take it from here, applying your settings uniformly across your document. With these steps, your PDFs are now neatly organized with Bates numbers, ensuring they maintain order, accuracy, and professionalism. Happy organizing.